In this video, we will be discussing slide 36 of chapter 4, where it says pipelining and instruction set architecture design. But I'd like to call it why pipelining is easy. Why I say that? There are features that makes the uh, design makes designing the pipelining for me much easier than compared to other architectures. And what what are those features? One of the features is all the instructions in MIPS are 32 bits. There is no variability. But you find other architectures where there are variabilities in instruction length. But for MIPS, that's not true. Then, we have only three types of instructions. Not more than that. Only three types of instructions and they are R, I and J types. So, you take any instructions, they will fall any one of these three types. Then, if you take the instruction, it starts with opcode. That means the MSB 6 bits are always opcode B. Now, you take any instruction, you encode it, you see the opcode or first MSB 6 bit, you would understand what that instruction is. For example, here we have all 6, in, uh, all, uh, all six bits are 0 in the MSB. But this suggests that this is going to be R type instruction. So the system takes action according to that. And then we have only two types of uh, memory operation. One is low, stored, and the other one is load. And again, this memory operation takes place at the later half of the instruction cycle, instruction life cycle, should I say. And then the memory operation takes the same amount of time as other stages takes. That means you do not have to assign extra time for performing the memory operation. These are the features that gives designing the MIPS platform and MIPS pipeline much easier than compared to other architectures. I'll be discussing about why pipelining is hard in my next video. Thank you.